Hi everyone, welcome to KMRD Radio Stuff. My name is Mike. Guys, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, you're gonna feel a whole heck of a lot better if you do. Today, after many, many questions about this, I'm gonna show you how to install a BNC, how to install a BNC connector on RG316 coax. This should be pretty much the same thing as uh, RG174 as well. So I've been getting quite a few questions about this lately and uh, it just so happens I need to put some more together. So I figured I'd bring you along with me. So let's hop over on the bench. We're gonna talk about a couple different kinds of these BNC connectors and then we'll uh, go ahead and put one on. It's pretty easy. So I think if I can tackle this, you can do it too. All right, let's make this happen. Now before we begin, I just want to show you a couple different kinds of connectors. Now these are all BNC, these are all crimp type, but they're all a little bit different. So this first one here on the left is kind of just, I guess what you would call your standard crimp type connector. You've got this little pin here, and this needs to be soldered onto the center conductor of the coax. And then you have your ferrule here that's going to uh, crimp the shield. That part is going to be all the same throughout. We've got a 90 degree crimp connector. And these are actually really neat because you just slide the center conductor inside and you solder it to that little gold thing. There's a groove in there that the wire kind of rests in and you solder that and then you slide the ferrule over, crimp it, and then this little screw thing caps that off and closes it. So that's pretty neat. And then this kind here, which we're gonna install today, this is the kind I prefer. I, I prefer both of these over this one. This one is, I don't know if they're actually called that, but this is, I, I call it a window connector because it has a little window there you can see. So similar to the 90 degree, the center conductor is gonna slide inside the uh, crimp part there and you're gonna solder it to that brass fitting there and there's a groove in there again for the wire to go in. Then our ferrule goes over, you crimp it and you're done. Now to find these, I just searched eBay and I would suggest searching for the type of connector you're looking for. So for example, I wanted a crimp BNC connector and then uh, for the type of coax you're looking for. So I just searched crimp BNC for RG316 on eBay and found these different ones. And if I can remember or, or find the link where I bought these, I'll link them, but you just gotta search eBay for the type of connector and the coax you're using, and uh, you should be able to find them. Now, the first thing we wanna do, I'm gonna use some heat shrink. So I am going to put the heat shrink on first before we do anything to the coax, and then we're gonna put the ferrule on. Make sure you do this before you start soldering, because once this is soldered on, you ain't putting anything on. So. You have to put whatever you want to put on the cable on first and then your connector. So now we're ready to prepare the coax and what I'm going to do is simply line it up with the connector and you can see I only need, oh gosh, that might be about a quarter of an inch of uh, coax strip. We're going to strip this all the way down to the center conductor and then we'll make another cut for the shield. So I just like to use a very sharp razor blade. And we're gonna go ahead, usually like to score the outside first, depending, sometimes it goes easier than others. And you just kinda, I'm just kind of rolling it on the blade there. Doesn't take much. So now we're already down to the shield. So now we're just gonna cut a little bit more. So it's very easy to cut too much. It takes practice. So there we are, that's it. There's not much, not many strands in there at all. Now we're ready to prepare our shield. And we can see we only need maybe a, a quarter of an inch taken off the jacket there. So I'm just gonna gently score with my knife. It doesn't take much. And it's off, just like that. Very, very simple. Now we're gonna fan we're going to fan our shield out. Now we're ready for the insertion. We're going to insert the center conductor into the connector. 
And you can see the wire going in that little brass part there and we just need to solder that. And I like to put the assembly in a vise here to hold it while we solder. I'm just going to apply a little bit of solder to the tip and get at it. Nice flow, beautiful. Next, we're going to slide the ferrule up and over where we crimp. We're going to insert it in our crimping tool. And this crimp, actually, you can see there's kind of a wider gap there. That's to fit the wider part. And then the skinnier part obviously goes in the skinnier part. So we are going to make that happen. And then we're going to squeeze. And that's it. Very, very simple. I'm actually going to crimp this down here as well, just to make it easier to slide the heat shrink over, which brings us to our next thing to do is slide the heat shrink over and heat shrink. And now we have a nice professional looking BNC installation. See, that wasn't so hard now, was it? Hopefully you learned something from this. And I know that uh, when I was uh, new to amateur radio and started getting into putting on connectors, it was a nightmare. Trying to solder just a regular uh, PL259 onto RG8X or RG213 with the, you know, where you have to solder the shield, it's a nightmare. So I discovered crimping, never went back. Crimping is the way to go. And I'm a big proponent of making your own coax, buy the coax, buy the connectors separately. That way you can make exactly what lengths you need as opposed to kind of the stock 50 foot, 100 foot, whatever type configurations. I got all kinds of different lengths of coax. And it's nice to know that I have the tools and the wherewithal to be able to make whatever I need for whatever application, you know, whether it's jumpers or coax out in the field, whatever the case may be, there's always gonna be a reason to need to install a connector onto coax. So thanks so much for watching. Like I said, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and share, and we will see you again on another episode of KNMRD Radio Stuff. 73 guys.